artists, activists, born on the East Coast, writers, as well as reacted violently when provoked by Europeans. Frederick Douglass wrote in his book, he caught hold of my legs and was about tying me. As soon as I found what he was up to, I gave a sudden spring. And as I did so, he holding to my legs, I was brought sprawling on the stable floor. Mr. Covey seemed now to think he had me and could do what he pleased. I resolved to fight and suiting my action to the resolution. I seized Covey hard by the throat. And as I did so, I rose. He held on to me and I to him. My resistance was so entirely unexpected that Covey seemed taken all aback. He trembled like a leaf. This gave me assurance and I held him uneasily causing the blood to run where I touched him with the end of my fingers. Mr. Covey soon called out to Hughes for help. Hughes came and while Covey helped me, attempted to tie my right hand. Bill wanted to know what he could do. Covey said, take hold of him, take hold of him. Bill said his master hired him out to work and not to help whoop me. So he left Covey and myself to fight our own battle. The truth was he had not whooped me at all. I considered him getting entirely the worst end of the bargain. For he had drawn no blood from me, but I had from him. Mr. Covered, Covey never laid the weight of his finger up on me in anger. Frederick Douglass, one of the thugs of his time, he just wasn't out here spitting no rhymes. It's hustler culture. Follow me for more.